Hi, my name is Philip King and welcome to this video where I am going to introduce you to Artisteer and show you how to create a WordPress template. For those who don't know what Artisteer is, it's simply a WYSIWYG design tool for creating content management system templates for WordPress, Blogger, Drupal, Joomla and HTML. If you haven't downloaded Artisteer yet, you will find a link to do so below this video. If you need help on downloading and installing Artisteer, then take a look at my video Artisteer Download and Install. The link is also given below this video. When you first load the program, you will be greeted with the main application window and the pop-up new project window, where you can select from a range of library templates. Let's explore this first. If we select the Sort By drop-down menu box, you will see that we can sort the templates by popularity, downloads or newest. Selecting the category drop down menu box displays the template library categories available. There's quite a few categories to choose from. Let's see what the nature category has to offer. Well there are eight templates filed in this category Highlighting each of the template icons displays details for that template in the right hand panel. Also displayed is the export options for that template. The options displayed will depend upon which version of Artistia you are using. Generally the standard edition has an expanded set of options. OK enough of that. Let's close the new project window and take a look at the main display window. Across the top of the display you can see there are several different tabs for editing the template's appearance in specific areas. Each of these tabs contains sub-items which allow you to change the appearance of the template in that specific area. The other good thing about Artistier is that its layout is very much like Microsoft Word so if you are an MS Word or MS Office user you should have no problems with the user interface. Whilst you can customize every aspect of a template, we're going to use the suggestion tools built into Artistier. On the Home tab, you will notice a large icon with a light bulb on it that says Suggest Design. We will use this to pick a suitable template. It's just a matter of clicking the Suggest Design icon until you find a template design which is close to the design you would like for your website. OK, here's a reasonable looking template design. Let's start with this. The first thing we'll change with this template is the colours. Simply click the Suggest Colours button to have Artistia automatically scroll through its colour selections. OK, here's a nice looking colour scheme. Now let's see what fonts are available by clicking the Suggest Fonts button. OK, that font will do. Now let's see what suggestions are available for the background. And the headers. Well, things are progressing nicely so far. Let's continue modifying the headers. Let's try modifying the header background. Select the header tab, followed by the background image icon. As usual, each click of this icon will produce another header background suggestion. You can also select the background modifier from a drop down menu selection if you prefer. One of the really nice features of Artisteer is how easy it is to change the layout. At the moment we have left and right hand sidebars. To change that 
we use the Layout tab, followed by the Columns icon. This displays the drop-down column menu selector. As you can see, all the standard layouts are available, but if you're still not happy, you can always customize them as required later. Let's try selecting a right-hand sidebar first. OK, let's try a left-hand sidebar. You can see that when you make any of these changes, as with the colours, it all gets carried through to the entire template. Everything gets adjusted automatically. I think that will do for now. Overall, I think the site is looking pretty good, considering the amount of effort it's taken. So, with the project complete, let's export the template. To export the template, we click the Export tab. This brings up a pop-up window where you can select the CMS template you require, WordPress, Blogger, etc. Enter a name for the template and also define where you want the template stored. With the required data entered, click the Export button. Confirm the save and check that the files have indeed been saved. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you haven't downloaded Artistia yet, you will find a link to do so below the video. If you need help on downloading and installing Artistia, then take a look at my video, Artistia Download and Install. The link is also given below this video. Thanks once again for taking the time to view this video.